Okay, so if you open it up, it will look like this. Now notice there are five blanks on the first page, one in row five, where we are asked to find the missing rate, one in row six, where we're asked to find the missing overtime pay, one in row eight, where we're find, trying to find the missing overtime hours worked, one in row 10, where we are finding the straight time pay, and run in one in row 12, where we're trying to find the total pay. Now notice you have an entire column, so like for five I have this entire column of information. My job is to use that information to fill in the blank here. Now I've made an example one that we can go through together. And I left some of the rows blank. So this is not your exact spreadsheet, this is one similar to it. I left rows open. So notice here um, I have these rows open here. And let's get started. Okay, so the first job we have is to go ahead and fill in this blank here, which is supposed to be our rate, so that's what our hourly pay is. They gave us how many hours we worked, they gave us our straight time pay, which is also our total pay because there's no overtime. Now, filling in this first blank, remember that your rate times your number of hours gives you your straight time pay. And for us right now, we know that we worked 28 hours and our pay ended up being 865.32. So let's fill in the information we have. We don't know the rate, but we do know that we worked 28 hours and that our pay ended up being $865.32. So we're looking for what did we multiply by 28, what rate, to get our $865. We go ahead and divide both sides by 28 to solve this equation and that will give us our rate. So in the calculator, you would put $865.32 divided by 28. And we get approximately, in my pen, approximately 30.9 hours. Or excuse me, 30.90, we're doing dollars here. Okay, so then you go up here and you would type in the missing rate is $30.90 an hour. Okay, we filled in one blank. Let's go to the next one. So we want to go to row 6. Alright, as we take a look at row 6, let's figure this one out now. Okay, so in row 6, what are we given? We are given the name of the person, we're given the rate the regular hours, the overtime, okay, one of these is, sorry, this is missing, one of these is double time and the other one is time and a half. Okay, And then we're given the straight time pay. We're asked to find the overtime pay, we have the total pay. There's two ways we could do this. We could figure out how much we make for these overtime hours here and use that to fill in the overtime pay. But an easier thing to do <laughs> is that we have the straight time pay. If we add to that the overtime pay, we get our total pay. So to get your total pay, again, you take straight time pay. That's your regular hours. If you add to that your overtime pay, you're going to get your total. So why don't we just take a look at, well, how much is missing here? We know that we have $365.70 in straight time pay. plus our overtime, whatever that happens to be, that's what we're trying to figure out. Gives us our total, which was $515.28. So why not just subtract $365.70, our regular pay, whatever is left over must have been our overtime pay. And we get $149.58. Okay, so we've 
filled in yet another blank. Now I'm erasing between, but <laughs> so we have a clear screen. So we've now we did the first one up above. Now we've done the second one in line six. Now let's go to our next line. All right, now we're on the next line. Let's take a look. So in our first two steps, we took care of five and six. Now we're on line eight. It has an empty blank here for overtime hours. Okay, so over here we are given our overtime pay. We need to know how many overtime hours were worked. The rate is $8.55, but for time and a half, 1.5, what would our rate be? That's what we have to know first. Okay, what's our rate going to be for our time and a half? Well, our regular pay is $8.55 an hour. We're going to multiply that by 1.5 and that will give us our time and a half pay. And I get $12.83 approximately. So this is our rate. Again, your rate times your hours gives you your pay. We are focusing on overtime hours, so we want to just look at the overtime pay. So again, we don't know our rate. I'm going to go ahead and call it R. Times our number of hours. We, oh, sorry, back that up. Sorry about that. We do know our rate. Our eight is, rate is $12.83. We just found that out. We don't know how many hours we worked, but our pay ends up being $76.95. So again, we just divide by this number here, divide by $12.38, excuse me, 83 cents, I'm misspeaking, and that will tell us how many hours it took to get to $76.95. So take 76.95, divide by 12.83. And we get 5.99, which is about 6 hours. So we could go back up to our spreadsheet up here, and we are going to put, we would put a 6 here. Again, these are not the exact problems that you have, but this is going to show you the steps to go through. So for that one first, we found our overtime rate. We took our rate times 1.5, or time and a half. That gives us 12.83. We then took our overtime pay, make sure it's the overtime pay, divided by our rate, and that gave us the number of overtime hours. All right, so here we are. We only have two lines left. We have these last two left to take a look at. So let's look at nine, line 10. What's missing? Our straight time pay is missing. So for straight time pay, you take your straight time rate times the number of regular hours, and that will give us our pay. This is pretty straightforward. We take our rate times our number of hours, and that will give us our pay. So that's all we have to do. We're going to take 32.25 times 38 hours, and we get $1,225.50. that straightforward. So in this cell here, we would click on it and put into there $1,225.50. Now in your spreadsheet, you're just going to be able to click there and type your answer in. All right, we are now on our final step. Okay, let's finish this up. We only have that last, that very last line that has an empty cell over here. And it's missing the total pay. Now, we could go and figure out our regular pay and our overtime pay, but they were nice enough. We have that already. We know our straight time pay. We know our overtime pay. To get the total pay, all we have to do is add those together. So $331.50 plus $204 is going to give us our total pay, and we will be done with this part of the project. So we get $535.50. Again, these are not the exact problems that you have on your project, but this will show you the exact steps you need to go through to find the missing number in each cell. Fill in those five cells, 
save it to your computer so that when you get to lesson three, you'll be able to go on to the next step.